you mentioned uh, the the feedback control, the dynamics. Sorry for the romantic question, but is in the early days and even now, is the dynamics probably more appropriate for the early days? Is it more art or science? There's a lot of science around it, and and trying to develop you know scientific principles that let you extrapolate from like one legged machine to another, you know, develop a core set of principles like like a spring mass bouncing system, and then figure out how to apply that from a one legged machine to a two or a four legged machine. Those principles are really important, and 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 we're definitely a core a core part of our work. Um, there's also, you know, when we started to pursue humanoid robots, um, there was so much complexity in that machine that, you know, one of the benefits of, of the humanoid form is you have some intuition about how it should look mm -hmm. while it's moving. And that's a little bit of an art, I think. And now it's take, or maybe it's just tapping into a knowledge that you have deep in your body and then trying to express that in the machine. But yeah. that's an intuition that's a little bit more on the art side. Uh, maybe it, it predates your knowledge. You know, Before you have the knowledge of how to control it, you try to work through the art channel. <laughs> yeah. And humanoids sort of make that available to you. If it had been a different shape, maybe we wouldn't have had the same intuition about it. Yeah, so your knowledge about moving through the world is not made explicit to you. So you just, that's why it's art. You and it to, might, yeah, it might be hard to actually articulate exactly, you know. Yeah. <laughs> there's something about, um, as, and being a competitive uh, athlete, there's something about seeing uh, movement. You know, a coach, one of the greatest strengths a coach has is being able to see, you know, some little change in what the athlete is doing and then being able to articulate that to the athlete, you know, and then maybe even trying to say, and you should try to feel this. Um, so there's something just in seeing, and again, you, you know, sometimes it's hard to articulate what it is you're seeing, but there's a just perceiving the motion at, at a rate that is, um, uh, again, sometimes hard to put into words. Yeah, I, I wonder uh, how it is possible to achieve sort of truly elegant movement. You have a movie like Ex Machina, I'm not sure if you've seen it, but uh, the main actress in that, who plays the AI robot, I think is a ballerina. I mean, just the natural um, the elegance and the, I don't know, eloquence of movement. It's, it's, <laughs> it looks efficient and easy and just, it looks right. It looks, it looks right is sort of the key, yeah. And then you you look at, um, especially early robots, I mean, they, they, they're they so cautious in, in the way they move um, that, it's not it's not the caution that looks wrong it's it's something about the movement that looks wrong that feels like it's very inefficient unnecessarily so and it's hard to put that into words exactly we think that, and part of the reason why people are attracted to the machines we build is because the inherent dynamics of movement are are closer to right mm -hmm. um because we we try to use you know, walking gates, or we build a machine around this gate where you're trying to work with the dynamics of the machine instead of to stop them. Mm -hmm. You know, some of the early walking machines, you know, you're essentially, you're really trying hard to not let them fall over. And so you're always stopping the tipping motion, you know? Yeah. And sort of the insight of dynamic stability in a legged machine is to go with it, you know? <laughs> let the tipping happen. You know, let yourself fall, but then catch your catch yourself with that next foot. And there's something about getting those physics to be expressed in the machine that people interpret as lifelike, or or elegant, or just natural looking. And so I think if you get the physics right, it also ends up being more efficient. Likely, there's a benefit that it probably ends up being more stable in the long run. You know, it could it could walk stably over a wider uh, a range range of conditions, um, and it's uh, and it's more beautiful and attractive at the same time. 